Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is John Fillmore and welcome to a special episode of the... Wait, what was it again? Uh, the Stuff of Legends, there we go. Uh, so, you guys have probably noticed that there's a giant hype going around of Pokemon Go, right? And um, I don't actually have the game yet. I, I, uh, I really want, but... Uh, it hasn't actually been officially released in Europe. Right now it's the 14th of July, so it hasn't officially been released. And uh, I need to do something in the meanwhile, because otherwise, you know, all of my friends are like, Oh, look what I got, look what I got. And it's like, I don't have it yet. It's so sad. But I need to do something while I'm busy, because it's going to be released in a couple of days here. Not quite sure when, although they've been saying that this entire week, so I don't know. But in any case... It'll be coming out in a few days, and uh, I want to do something in the meanwhile. So, if you guys don't know, uh, there are three teams in Pokemon Go. There's uh, Pokemon, or there's a uh, there's a uh, Team Mystic, Team Instinct, and Team Valor. And these three you can choose when you're at level five. And their um, mascots are Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, respectively. So I thought. We're going to do a special episode on these three legendary birds and find out how you use them and which one of them is better analytically speaking. All right? I want to make that very clear. Analytically speaking. Okay? Okay. Now, I did say I was going to do one about Zap... Or about... Uh, not Zapdos. About Xerneas. But uh, I thought, you know what? Move that one to another day. This one, I want to do it because it's it's pretty fun so we're gonna move right into it so let's take a look at actually here we go here are the three legendary birds Articuno Zapdos and Moltres now if you don't know uh, Articuno is actually Arctic although they spelled Arctic wrong uh, I think Arctic actually has two C's in it does it pretty sure it does um, so Arctic Uno as in the uh, Spanish number one Zapdos which is again Spanish or two and mol tres it's three right some people know that some people don't now you do so i'm gonna do that in i'm gonna analyze them in that order all right i'm not saying i'm taking this one because i like it more or anything i'm not saying which team i actually want to join because then the comments will explode and we ain't gonna have that all right so i'm gonna start with articuno first now articuno let's take a look at its stats and its abilities and well actually everything um so it has an hp of 90 special attack of 85 yeah that's doable i suppose uh defense of 100 that's nice special attack of 95 acceptable um a special defense of 125 that's nice you give it an assault vest and it won't take anything uh from a special uh attack and you have a speed of 85 it's a, a bit slow um if we take a look at its typing it's a flying ice um, I'm pretty sure I don't think I think that's uh, the only one of its type of flying ice I may be wrong but it's very it is quite unique um, <clears throat> it has immunity to ground of course uh, resistance to bug and grass uh, it's weak to electric fire and steel and it's very weak to rock right so this guy does not like um, rock slides it does not like uh, stealth rocks or anything like that um, so the easiest way to take care of an Articuno is to hit it with, a, with anything like that and uh, the guy's dead okay now moving back to here um, if you take a look at these stats I would actually say it's more of a um, a support Pokemon than anything else right or a, a more defensive Pokemon right uh, because it's attack and special attack aren't that great its speed isn't that great either um it's it, it, it's lacking in that right i mean theoretically you could give it a full investment to special attack making it eh, doable and then you give it like a choice spec or something like that a choice specs would work um but you'd need some support from other pokemon if you want to get it going if you're working with doubles which is what the stuff of legends is about it's about vgc 2016 um then you could give it like a, a partner that maybe sets up uh, the rain or something like that and then you can uh hit it with hurricane it does actually know hurricane uh hurricane 110 power stab uh, special attack accuracy of 70 but it can't miss in rain so that's nice 
Um, you can also set up the hail. Um, well, first of all, it's a ice. Uh, it also has a snow cloak hidden ability, right? It's rare, but you can, uh, if you trade around, you can eventually find one. Um, if hail is active, this Pokemon's evasiveness is 1.5 times, and it's immune to hail, of course. Um, and in that uh, instance, it can become a little bit more, um, uh, a little bit more shifty, a little bit more hard to hit. Uh, if you don't want to do that, then go for pressure. Pressure is a, a good move in certain situations if you know how to use it. Um, talking about moves, uh, you have um, you have Ice Beam, uh, you have Ice Shard, right? So it has a couple of nice ice moves in there. Uh, it has Avalanche, it has Blizzard, Freeze Dry, Frost Bre uh, Breath, Hail, Haze, Hidden Power, Ice. Uh, Ice Beam, Ice Shard, Icy Wind as well, so that's nice in doubles. Uh, Mist, Powder Snow, and Sheer Cold. Um, actually, let's take a look at all the moves. Uh, we have Agility, so it becomes, uh, so it uh, does actually work well with its speed. Um, if you want it to become a special attacker, then give it a life, no, give it a Focus Sash, um, and give it a full investment into, th into its special attack, uh, and then make it a little bit bulky, I suppose, uh, and then go for Agility, and start hammering away with things like um, Ancient Power, Avalanche, uh, Blizzard. Blizzard is very powerful on Nordicuno. Uh, you got Defog uh, to remove entry hazards, not that you see many of those in the doubles. You got Double Edge, Extra Sensory, Facade, Freeze Dry, Frustration, Haze. Haze is a rare move, but it is actually quite nice. Um, I use it in uh, singles, uh, in a Coffee Grigus, and it's very annoying. Uh, Heal Bell actually makes a pretty nice um, uh, cleric then. Articuno makes a very nice cleric. Uh, you got a Hurricane, Ice Beam, you got a couple of uh, hidden powers here. You got Ice Shard, Protect, Reflect, uh, Rest, Return, Roar, Roost, uh, Signal Beam, Sweep Talk, so you can't actually make it a Rest Talker. Uh, you got Substitute, Tailwind, Toxic, U-Turn, you got a couple of other ones, Aerial Ace, Air Cutter, Confide, Double Team, Endure, Fly, uh, Frost Breath, Giga Impact, Gust, uh, Hail, a couple of Hidden Powers, uh, Ice Beam, or Icy Wind, Hyper Beam, Mimic, Mind Reader, uh, so I think actually it can go for Sheer Cold, Mind Reader, Sheer Cold, um, let me see, Sheer, yeah, it has Sheer Cold, so if you give it Mind Reader, where are you? Mind Reader, uh, the user's next move will not miss the target. That's a one shot, one kill, dead. Uh, you can use that uh, it, actually to some pretty nice results if you play it nicely. Uh, you got Mist, you got, um, which protects the, uh, the user from stat drops. You got Mud Swap, Natural Gift, Ominous Wind, Pluck. Uh, powder snow no one uses that it has rain dance um it has hail as well um as i said before it has sandstorm round if you want to use that uh sh secret power shear cold sky attack and sky drop uh snore steel wing sunny day so this one can actually learn all four of the weather conditions which is nice you got swagger swift twister and water pulse uh there's a lot of no, don't, don't select Steel Wing. Go away. Uh, there's a lot of things you could uh, run with. I think uh, one of the best ways to run it is to go with... Um, let me see. I would say Roost is a good one. I would say Heal Bell is a good one. Um, if you're gonna go with singles, then substitute would be nice. Uh, I like the Tailwind. U-turn could be nice. The Mind Reader, the Ominous Wind, the Sheer Cold. There's, there's, there's a lot of things I could do. I'm gonna actually go with the Ice Beam as the last one. Um, let me see. Where's the Beam? There's the Beam. Okay. So Roost, Heal Bell, Tailwind, and Ice Beam. Uh, just to kind of be a cleric, just to uh, be uh, really uh, supportive to the team. Because that, that's, I think, the best way of running an Articuno. It's support. Right, so you give it something like... Um, I wouldn't say full investment into defense, but if you want to, you can. Um, and just kind of play with uh, the defenses and uh, things like that. Uh, you might also want to make it a little bit faster. Uh, uh, to kind of cancel out that uh, or to help out that uh, 85 base stat 
uh, in speed. Now you can actually run an assault vest. Um, if you want to, you can run a choice scarf or a spec. Uh, would not suggest a band, but if you want to, you can. Uh, Evil Light's not going to do anything. Focus Sash, not bad. You could actually do that. Uh, leftovers uh, and a leftover sub uh, could be really, really nice. Um, let me see. Lumberry is also quite nice. Citrus Berry. I think Citrus Berry would probably be uh, nice uh, because you got the Roost as well. And then you go for Citrus Berry if you really need it. And then you go for the Roost to heal yourself all the way back up. So that's how I would actually run uh, an Articuno. Um, and I'm going to say full investment into its HP by making it timid nature to give it a tiny bit of an edge um, and put the rest into a special defense so that way you kind of have a little bit of a, a, a mix with that but you it's a sort of a mixed um, tank you, you can run it other ways you can run it other ways so uh, it's up to you it's up to you um, so let's say we're going to do that. Uh, moving on to Zapdos, uh, we'll come to this set uh, later on uh, when I put it into a, uh, a damage calculator. Uh, but moving on to Zapdos. Zapdos is the second one of the legendary birds, of course, and it is an electric flying type. So it's immune to ground. That's nice because it's important. This electric uh, type, this, uh, it really does appreciate that. Uh, it's resistant to bug, fighting, flying, grass, and steel nice uh, especially fighting is very common uh, you will see that now it is weak to ice so be careful of that uh, and it's weak to rock does not have any super weaknesses or anything like that so it's pretty stable um, it's let me see uh, it has 125 into its special attack uh, and it has 90 in attack 90 HP uh, defense is 85 it's doable special defenses uh, 90 so it's it's a pretty doable um, Pokemon to work with um, Especially through a lot of things um, Like uh, defense and things like that. It's not great, but it'll take a hit uh, speed of a hundred So it's in the hundred speed tier. That's nice um, Let me see uh, da, 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 da. So it makes actually a pretty good special attacker, right and mostly uh, the way that people run it uh, is this because this is by far the most uh, used legendary bird of the trio um, this one is actually used a lot this is doubles so tailwind is quite common uh, thunderbolt either hidden power ice or heat wave and then roost or something like that roost might not necessarily be in there so tailwind thunderbolt hidden power ice and heat wave um, and then with the citrus berry as well on modest nature uh, and that's kind of how you uh, play with that. Now, th the reason uh, that you do it this way with the Thunderbolt and Hidden Power Ice is because, let's see, we go to type coverage. This is the Pokemon database uh, type coverage calculator. Uh, and I uh, put in electric and ice, right? Calculate how many Pokemon are actually not very affected by it, normally affected, and super affected by it. Um, and from what I can tell, there are only four, no, sorry, I can't count, six, there we go, six Pokemon that are actually not very affected by it. Ninjask, but you don't see a lot of Ninjask in VGC anyway, uh, Rotom Ice, or Rotom Frost and Rotom Heat, Rotom Heat you'll probably see, Rotom uh, Frost, not really, Magnezone, you may see now and again, but uh, I wouldn't count on it, uh, so Rotom uh, heat's probably going to be your biggest concern. And for the rest, it's all normal attack. Now, this is called uh, Bolt Beam, a Bolt Beam uh, strategy. Bolt Beam pretty much says you have one Pokemon that has um, Ice Beam and Thunderbolt, right? And just by using those two moves, you have... Uh, it, it pretty much hits almost everything super effectively. Or, no, uh, not super effectively. <laughs> um, normal effectively. It hits everything normal effectively, right? Um, and that's quite nice because if you have something like a Zapdos with 125 uh, special attack, that tends to become very, very nice indeed. Uh, so uh, this is, let me see, technically this isn't Bolt Beam, this is Pseudo Bolt Beam. If you go for a Thunder, uh, Thunder 
Bolt. It can also learn Thunder Wave and uh, Volt Switch if you like to keep momentum going, so that's up to you. Uh, and Hidden Power... Ice. Where is the ice? There you are. Okay, so this is a pseudo bolt beam because you have the thunderbolt, but you don't have the ice beam, so you have to make do with hidden power ice. Uh, but still, it hits quite hard. Um, and then the heat wave is to take care of things like Magnezone, take care of things like Scizor, take care of things like uh, Ferrothorn, and things like that. And the only thing you will not hit super effectively then is Rotom Heat. Alright, so it does become quite uh, quite nice. Where's Zapdos? There's Zapdos. Okay. Uh, so it does become quite nice, uh, this kind of set. And uh, this is uh, the reason why it is by far the most well used of the legendary birds. Um, I usually have trouble taking care of a Zapdos because it is quite uh, it is quite nasty to deal with. Now, Citrus Berry. Now, uh, Static uh, is its hidden ability. Again, rare, but you can find it. 30% chance. Uh, for a Pokemon to make contact with it, that it will be paralyzed. Uh, if you don't want to use that and just want to go with pressure, that's good too. Um, I would suggest, let's take a look at this. Fast Physical Sweeper, is that what Zapdos is doing? Nah, Modest. I'm going to go for a Modest then. Um, yeah, Modest Nature with a nice, uh, well-rounded, full-invested special attack. Um, let me see what they say as well. Uh, 100 in HP uh, to make it a little bit more bulky. I do actually like that. We'll do 100 in HP, and the rest we'll just uh, put into speed and to outspeed a lot of uh, 100 base uh, stat or 100 base speed Pokemon. Um, and this is uh, a pretty nice set for Zapdos. All right. So again, we're gonna come back to this set in a second. Moving on to Moltres. Moltres is the third. Uh, Moltres is a flying fire Pokemon. Now we have seen fire flying in the past, aka Talonflame, uh, and the reason why most people don't use Moltres is because you can actually use Talonflame in its stead. Uh, it doesn't hit as well in a special uh, attacking manner, but it has priority, it has um, Brave Bird and Flare Blitz, it has Tailwind, it has Roost, it has a whole bunch of those nasty little things. So, it pretty much, I wouldn't say in everything, uh, but in a lot of things, uh, Talonflame is better. But, Moltres still has uh, some, uh, some power. Now, um, it's immune to ground, which is nice, because it has a fire. Uh, so, and fire appreciates the immunity to ground, strongly resists bug and grass, resists fairy, fire, uh, fighting, and steel. Fairy and fighting, uh, and fire, to be honest, are, uh, to, are uh, quite predominant. Uh, and the steel, eh, now and again, although it doesn't really have that much physical, um, um, physical prowess, uh, over anything except for maybe fairy. Uh, it's weak to electric and water and very r weak to rock. So, same as Articuno, you shoot it down with a rock slide or stealth rocks. It will not like that at all. Um, let me see, moving on to some base stats. Uh, it has 90 in HP, 100 in attack. Um, so, it can become a decent special attacker. Um, it has 90 in defense, 125 in special attack, that's nice. Uh, special defense is 85 and speed is 90. Um, so it's a little bit lower, um, slower than the Zapdos. Uh, Articuno is actually the slowest of them all. Um, but with the right investment, it can still work. Um, let me see, taking a look at moves, agility again, air slash again. Uh, you got ancient power, defog, uh, double edge, extrasensory, facade, uh, you got Fire Blast, you got Flame Charge, you got Flame Thrower, Frustration, Heat Wave, a couple of hidden powers here. Um, Hurricane, Morning Sun, so it has that as recovery. It also has Roost, and most people just re use Roost anyway. Uh, you got Overheat, Protect, Rest, Return, Roar, uh, Sweep Talk, so again, another Rest Talker. Substitute, Tailwind, Toxic, U-Turn, Will-O-Wisp. Um, and then it has Aerial Ace, Aerial uh, Cutter. Confine, Double Team, Ember, no one uses that. Endure, Fire Spin for the trapping. Uh, you got Fly, Giga Impact. You got a, uh, more Hidden Powers. Uh, Hyper Beam, Incinerate, Mimic, uh, Mud Slap, Natural Gift, Ominous Wind. Uh, you got Pluck, Rain Dance, uh, Rock Smash, 
Round, Safeguard, Sandstorm, Secret Power, Sky Attack, and Sky Drop, uh, Snore, Solar Beam, Steel Wing, Sunny Day, Swagger, Swift, Twister, and Wing Attack. Um, so, no, I don't want Steel Wing, go away. Um, so Zapdos and Moltres can actually learn three of the four weather conditions. Um, they both cannot learn Hail, but the rest, uh, they can. Uh, so if you want to do something with a, uh, with a certain uh, weather team, one of the legendary birds would actually be quite, uh, pretty good. Um, I, let me see. I'm going to say, I'm going to give it a life orb. Uh, the, uh, let me see. Taking a look at this, I, a life orb with fire blast, hurricane, hidden power, grass, or widow wisp, and roost. Um, now this is singles, of course, uh, but we'll work with it. Uh, so we'll go for a fire, a fire blast. Do we really want to use a fire blast? Um... Fire Blast would work, but it has 85% accuracy, so if you don't want to use that, that's fine. Um, Flamethrower is actually a little bit more accurate. Um, I am actually just going to go for the Fire Blast uh, to give it a little more oomph. Um, do I want to use a Hurricane? I actually... I could use Extra Sensory um, to surprise the opponents. Uh, there's a couple of things I could do, actually. Um, I'm gonna give it Roost. Oh, Roost, there we go. Uh, you can actually run uh, a sub Roost on it, right? So you go for the substitute, which it learns. Uh, it doesn't really have the best defense, so its substitute may be nice, but it will be broken easily as well. Um, I'm gonna go with, actually, Overheat would be good. Um, you know what? Screw Fire Blast. We're gonna go with Overheat. No, do we want? Yeah, okay. Uh, overheat, and then we're gonna go for. Uh, sky attack. Yeah. Yeah, sky attack. Um, and last but not least, I'm going to give it a will willow wisp Or actually, no. Better. Tailwind. Uh, now, Tailwind, uh, every one of the legendary birds can actually learn Tailwind. Everyone can learn Substitutes, Roost, Rest, Sweep Talk, all that kind of stuff. Um, so it does actually become... Uh, they can all be... Uh, quite good in supporting um, and I made this one a let me see um, I think I think I'm gonna mm, okay I'm gonna put uh, 128 in there full investment into its speed um, I kind of want to reduce this one a little bit more i want to keep the defense uh there and i'm gonna put the rest into special attack yeah uh so this one making a a life orbs um a life orb mixed attacker you go for the overheat um which will burn pretty much everything to a cinder uh and then you use sky attack uh you need to uh wait for a sec but then it actually hits very hard uh you could go for a power herb and then charge up the sky attack in one shot uh, and then start uh, to kill guys that way uh, but you can also keep the life orb in there uh, this is how i would do it again you can do it differently blah 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 uh, but this is a, a, a possibility let's say that uh, okay so like i said we're going to now actually i'm gonna delete that uh we're gonna use the um hold on with Get a blank set. Uh, we're going to use the um, sets that we made in order to kind of compare the two. So we're going to put the sets into the this uh, damage calculator from Pokemon Showdown and kind of see how that works. Uh, so I'm going to input that right now and I'm going to be right back. Okay. Okay. So we're back. It took a while, but all right. Uh, so we're comparing Articuno to Zapdos. So this is the uh, the sets that we. Uh, uh, that we thought of, and we put them into the damage calculator to kind of see how that works. Um, okay, so we have, let me see, um, we have Articuno with Tailwind, Roost, and Heal Bell. Of course, these don't really do anything. Uh, you can use Roost, of course, but, I mean, eh. Um, and we have Thunderbolt, Tailwind, Hidden Power Ice, and Heat Wave. Uh, okay, so this Ice Beam is going to do about, I'm going to say about 60%, 60%. Um, and this will 
guarantee a two hit KO against the Zapdos, right? And if you can set up a Tailwind, or you already have set up a Tailwind, uh, then you can actually use the Ice Beam and do and uh, you know do your thing. But Zapdos is uh, faster by a lot, and he will hit you with a Thunderbolt, which is about uh, 70. That'll do about 70. And Roost will not heal you up uh, that much, right? So in this particular case, Zapdos will take out an Articuno. Now this is of course a defensive Articuno. If you had a little bit more offensive, then maybe it would be a little bit different. But in this uh, case, uh, Articuno would not really survive against the Zapdos. Um, now, let me see. Um, Heat Wave would do about 50%. Hidden Power Ice would do nothing. Um, so you have a couple of uh, possibilities, uh, but if you think, uh, if you're facing a Zapdos uh, with an Articuno, you're know, like, okay, he's probably going to shoot me with a Thunderbolt or a, uh, a Heat Wave. Switching something that uh, can take those things out, lower your uh, Zapdos, uh, your opponent's Zapdos' uh, HP, or take it out if you can, uh, and if not, bring in the Articuno again and uh, shoot an, uh, an Ice Beam at his face, and he should be dead, okay? So, Articuno cannot take out Zapdos alone. But in doubles, he doesn't have to, all right? Um, but in this, yeah, Zapdos wins. Okay, so I'm going to now move the Zapdos and Moltres. I need to input Moltres uh, into this thing, so I'll be right back again. Ugh. Okay, so uh, we have Moltres with Overheat, Sky Attack, Tailwind, and Roost against the same Zapdos. Um, let's see. Okay, so we got a bit of a problem here. Um, well, Moltres is uh, faster than Zapdos in this case, right? Uh, and that's good because it can then hit him with an overheat, which does about, I think about 80, about 80%. Uh, that's a guaranteed two hit KO, right? If you've already done like 20% health to, um, uh, to Zapdos, then you will kill it in one shot. But, and here's the but, um, if you don't kill it, Zapdos will 100% knock you out with, an, uh, with a Thunderbolt. You have no defense, pretty much, and you will be shot down quite easily. Um, so Thunderbolt will kill you, and that's bad uh, for Moltres, at least. Good for Zapdos, bad for Moltres. Um, so the thing is, Moltres can't, well, it can't really take out a Zapdos on its own. Zapdos would win, so theoretically, if you use these particular sets, uh, Zapdos would be the winner over all three birds. Uh, so Zapdos is the most powerful, but um, Moltres could take out a Zapdos if it had support, if it had help. All right? Um, let me see. Okay, so now I'm going to do uh, the, the final thing, Moltres versus Articuno. I'll be back one more time. Okay, so um, we have Articuno, same set. Um, okay, so let's take a look. Um, now, uh, Moltres is faster by far. Uh, Overheat will one shot the Articuno. Um, the Articuno with an Ice Beam, eh, it'll do a considerable amount of damage, but not too much. Um, Moltres will take it out. Um, now, of course, we are talking here about a Citrus Berry, and I did actually forget to calculate the Citrus Berry between Zapdos and Moltres. Um, but since, uh, in the comparison between Zapdos and Moltres, or no, not Zapdos and Moltres, sorry, I get these names confused. If I've said it before and I've kind of mixed them up, I'm sorry. Um, but Articuno and Zapdos, there we go. Articuno and Zapdos, um, since they both have a Citrus Berry, it doesn't really matter. Um, but... In this particular case, this, uh, the Citrus Berry doesn't matter. The Overheat would 100% kill it. Now, that is saying that Moltres never used Overheat before and it still has full um, use of its special attack. If we say it has minus 2, then it would only do about uh, half. And then, Mel uh, or then Articuno actually has some considerable chance of actually taking this thing out, right? Then... Um, overheat would do a considerable 
amount I'm saying about 60% uh, citrus berry would activate uh, and then he needs to hit him another two times right uh, with an overheat he could go for a sky attack but if he has a, uh, a life orb then it will uh, take two turns to uh, to build up so ice beam would actually if you fire two uh, ice beams at it he would go at very low health he wouldn't die but it'd be a very low health um, and if you have an, uh, a partner or something or you happen to get a tailwind then you can actually kill it that way as well so depending on the situation one could theoretically check the other but from what I can tell Zapdos is actually a counter against both of these guys. Articuno would then be the, the least um, productive in offense, but that's kind of how it's built. It's more of a, uh, a defensive, supportive Pokemon. All right. So um, now that we can have cleared the air of that, I'm actually going to get rid of all this. Oh, man, all right. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now you have a, a bit of a... Uh, an in-depth look at Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. We've been going on for about 40 minutes, man alive. Um, but now you kind of know how to work with them and you know um, that when you're actually picking teams for Pokemon Go, which one would beat the other one uh, on a competitive level, right? Of course, it's completely different, so the choice is up to you. But on a competitive level, Zapdos would beat all three of them, Moltres, could be at Articuno, Articuno being then the more um, defensive and supportive uh, Pokemon. All right, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time, I actually do plan on doing Xerneas, so it, it's coming, don't worry. Um, and uh, Vicky is actually on vacation, so there won't be any uh, Fired Up Fire Red uh, soon, unless I actually do another episode, but that's two in a row, and I'd rather not, so we'll see we'll see uh in any case um i think next week or something i'll be posting xerneas or something like that we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes all right so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys later and i wish everyone on the opposite side of the screen a very pleasant day goodbye